Okay, who wants to start? Anyone know? Okay, I'll s <laughs> insert tumbleweed here in crickets. Okay, I'll start with this. Um, uh, it's just let me tell you something that the the, the quite amusing, right? Like, so uh, when the running order came out, like, like I had just woken up and found out oh a running orders come out um but so i i decided to find out what the running order was by watching the official recaps in running order uh. on the official youtube um so, i thought mm -hmm. i thought cuz i thought it would be quite different and um so we get to Iceland and, and like oof uh, that's going to be interesting after the ad break and then after that was Estonia I'm like oh that's not good for Estonia and then after that is the song that we're going to be discussing after this I'm like oh my god Estonia got absolutely screwed here oh god like like this like this running order is so bad like it's gonna get so badly memory hold like I, I didn't think that Estonia stood much of a chance anyway but like oh god I don't know how the how are they gonna survive this like 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 i've seen quite a few people say oh it's good it's it's gonna qualify just fine i'm like are you i don't get it like it's a fine song but it's just so basic and it's honestly kind of dated because that kind of like radio friendly EDM sound is a little bit out of date now. And send uh also look at that jury score in the SDL final. I especially in a semi final like this, I don't see how that is going to change. So this is not gonna do nearly as well as people think it is, I don't think. Um yeah, I, I, I don't have much to say about it. I mean, it's fine. It's nice when you hear it on the radio, but it's just... It's just so basic, and there's just nothing special at all. Oh, and it's worth pointing out that this is the only song this year um that has the dreaded 128 BPM, and those of you who read Pop Bitch like I do will know that uh, having a song in Eurovision that's 128 BPM is like the sign of all basicness. <laughs> like it's the mo like like it's quite a long explanation why, but like if you look it up, it explains why <laughs> it, it's it, it, it like having a song in 128 in Eurovision is just like the most basic ass thing you can do <laughs> when writing a so Eurovision song. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I'm done with this. <laughs> mm, um, a semi final like this can break a song like this. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to stand up for basic pop music for, <laughs> for a moment here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the world likes a bit of basic um, EDM and. Even though it's on the borderline of qualification, I'm you know I don't think it's safe at all. I still think that, that it has an audience, but they're going to have to do something pretty special to stand out amongst all the belters that surround it. But you never know. If it does get through the final, it could be a nice show opener, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Although, to, to be honest, it, like if um, Azerbaijan draw the uh, first half, you know that's opening. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they're so original. <laughs> <laughs> um, ooh, oh, Estonia. I, at first up, 
Um, I would like to take a moment to say how much I loved Sandra Nusamulu's uh, song Sumvid Poo um, from the national <sighs> final. I <laughs> I was really upset that that didn't qualify or get get anywhere in the national final. Um, so just just a moment for that because I loved it and she sings Estonian beautifully. But anyway, um, Victor. So oh, you did too, didn't you, John? Yeah, I did love that song too. Me too. Yeah. Yay! Is he pulse for Estonian? Yay. <laughs> um, so as it comes to Storm and Victor Kron, I'm with John on this. Um, it's Yay! fun. I am, yeah. It, it's fun. I love it. It's really easy to sing along to. Um, and it's... I think it's quite... I, 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 I'm not so sure about the running order, um, you know, if Estonia is going to be completely hit away with the, the two songs surrounding it. I think it's almost a... I don't know. It, I, I don't know if it's got a track record like other contests, if they've had a song like this stuck in the middle of two sort of jarring songs, does it? Does it um, help or, or hinder it? I'm not sure, but I think it's going to stand on its merits. I think it has a possibility of qualifying. And and I was shocked to find out that Victor is um, is 27 years old. Um, he he was born on the 31st of January 1992. I, oh, he, I feel so old. Well, look at him. He looks like he's in his mid forties, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Do, it do does... you not think? Yeah. <laughs> bit harsh. Yeah. Okay, is a bit harsh. Sorry, John. But I, I just, yeah. Maybe it's just the long hair. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he just doesn't look twenty-seven at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh. No, wrong. I really do. It's in my top ten of the year, um, and I, I, I can't stop but sing along to it. It's really fun and it's really, really nice. So yeah, good on Estonia. Okay, mm. so um, anything else on Estonia before we give it a score? No, but bring back more Estonian language, please. We love it. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so um, let's give this a score. I'm going to give this a two. I'm going to give this a four. <laughs> and I'm going to give it a five because I love it. Ooh. <laughs> and the public, give it a three out of five. Uh, I was expecting three that to be a four, but oh well. <laughs> 